Um, today, I'm going to do a little bead haul. And so I'm going to start trying to do an, an intro for anyone new that, that happens to uh, be in my videos, either live or um, just by maybe you'll find me later on. So I'm Val and I create content uh, that centered around jewelry making. I am, I have a jewelry business on Etsy and I like to make earrings. That's kind of what I specialize in. I really love to make hoop earrings and I do bead hauls and um, some bracelets, some necklaces. I haven't concentrated a whole lot on those lately though. Mostly it's just my, uh, my little jewelry business. So I'm gonna dive in. This is a bead haul. I went to Hobby Lobby today and I have been saying how I didn't need to buy anything else. Okay, but sometimes I really do need small things like ear wires or something. And so, everything I got is for the business, so that's good. Hey, thank you for joining me. I'm just talking about my, my bead haul. I know I said I wasn't going to buy anything else, but I kind of had to this time. Um, I needed a few ear wires, and then I saw that there were 50 percent off other items so I definitely had to had to check everything out so here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to hold up everything I got and then get we'll get going I hope you brought your snack did everybody grab their popcorn and something to drink all right so I see I'm gonna start out with um, a picture if you can see kind of behind me there uh, there are pictures on my wall I'm just trying to kind of um Make everything look prettier back there behind me my background so I found this I thought it was pretty this little truck and then the um, yellow flowers in it I thought that was very a very pretty summer theme the yellow always reminds me of my mother that was her favorite color and so I've got um, I've got and this I think I got this from Hobby Lobby as well. no this came from Joanne's last year like a it's a vase and with yellow flowers in there you know what it can't that green in the vase kind of matches this uh this truck so just trying to spruce up my background um that's all i'm doing let's see that's the first thing i wanted to show got that picture this was 50 percent off so they in the uh, hobby lobby's like area where they show different pictures and things you can decorate with they had 50 percent off I think everything I got today was 50% off. I'm not going to say that everything was, <laughs> that the total was pretty, but I need most of this for the business, so, so it'll be okay. Um, I had a customer request clips. This will be my first time making any clip, uh, clip-ons. So I got two different kinds. I, since I've never made them, I didn't know what they were going to look like. This kind is like the traditional kind that kind of has a, I guess a silver ball here and then I had another pair that said a clip it's called a clip earring converter so I don't know what that does thank you so much for the thumbs up I appreciate it so I got some things to make clip earrings I'm gonna see what I can do to make those work uh, I got some of these these are um, 25 millimeter hoops yeah these are stain, stainless steel they're 25 millimeters um one of my listings that does pretty well requires these um these little hoops and so i don't know they're not for everybody and i'll show you why it's some people just like different types of earrings so that's why i have to have kind of a, a variety see that little bitty hole there that's how you put them on. I guess it's tricky, you know. But some people like those, and that's a listing that does pretty well. I just add my beads to that hoop. I always have to get uh, some of these. I want to get into making the, the ear wires. That's silver. This is the antique copper plated, so like like a darker rose gold color copper color hello thank you for joining me and then i got some more stainless steel hoops these are 30 millimeters so some of the things that i make sort of often they come from 
these hoops and then um, I always use these uh, I always use these on my the things I do my um, I'm sorry I'm losing my train of thought my metals if it, um, some of my metal earrings that I make and I'm sure I have some examples like let's see if those have it I do have other earring ear wires I just I really do like those that come from Hobby Lobby they're uh, silver plated okay these aren't yeah they are these are the ones they cut ones they come from Hobby Lobby and, and somebody just bought this pair so I'm gonna be shipping this off tomorrow these are those little tiny earrings that really really tiny dainty ones somebody just bought those and I found these in um let's see bronze and antique bronze and then antique copper so I've got all three colors and and those little dainty heart earrings so some people really like to go small and um, I'm glad when I find them you know and I can have something in the shop that they'd like to purchase too so that's why I get those um, those ear wires I have gotten some sterling silver I got online this morning and I'm going to really see if I can start trying to make my own. You probably save money. At least that's what I've heard, making your own ear wires. And just kind of shaving down the the edge, you know, the part that goes through your ear, the stem. Kind of shave that down with uh, sandpaper or a, a file. Hello, thank you for joining me. And so that's why I like those ear wires. I get them all the time. Uh, these help. These are jump rings, and they're those teeny tiny ones. Oh boy, eight millimeter. No, oh, this says six millimeters. Um, and what I do with these is I put them in my one of my um, hoop earrings. Well, I can show this one so you can get an idea. Can't find what I'm looking for. Okay, I'll show this hoop. I like uh, an example of what I do with those jump rings. And if you've ever seen me before, you, you already know. You've seen me use those jump rings before on my earrings. The, the earrings that I make uh, by hand with the memory wire. There we go. All right. So this is one. I didn't put this listing up. Uh, but I've got... The little, that's what I do with the little jump rings. I, I put the memory wire together at the top. And then there's another one of my little Hobby Lobby ear wires. So, uh, I think her, her channel is Wa Artisan. She has a channel, she has a video where she shows how to create ear wires like this. And so I'm gonna need to link that below. So you all can, um, if anybody needs to learn how to make ear wires hers are beautiful and they look even better to me than the store-bought ones she goes through um, a really good step-by-step -step process of how you do the ear wires by yourself so that's helpful too i always get these these are picasso seed beads uh this is the got like garnet color dark red and that's um like a blue green i call it blue green Kind of mostly navy though, on the dark blue side. What I do, I have a listing where I put these on the 30 millimeters, uh, 30 millimeter stainless steel wire. And that's what I do with those. And I also use the tan ones all the time. It's like a, a staple. The, um, they're called Picasso beads. And they are made by bead, bead treasures. They're called Mayuki seed beads and Picasso seed beads. And I also got some, these are Haishi beads, but they're the little ones, the little small ones. Um, they're not quite as large in diameter as the other ones. So I thought that would be neat to make a pair, maybe even make a smaller pair of hoops with the small Haishi beads or make a real big pair of hoops with my uh, like 50 millimeter beads, kind of fill up, fill the, um, the wire up or 
I've also seen it where people kind of fill the wire up halfway. So with that, um, I had a listing that sold out because I didn't have too many more of these beads. These are just glass seed beads. The colors mostly are red. There's some dark brown in here and chocolate, no, chocolate brown. There's some turquoise and a little gold. So these are like darker colors, but I've sold a couple of these. So I thought I better make sure I keep these beads on hand so I can keep selling those. I love the color blue, so I picked up lapis. And I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna make a series of, of bead, a series of earrings with this bead. Um, let's see, this size bead. And I didn't come prepared with my good examples today. Sure I did, there's one. I might have shown these the other day, but that is called Unikite. It's a pretty olive green color and it's all got like orange uh, peachy tones in it. So, and I put a silver, little silver um, flower on top. So I'm thinking that whatever little beads, brown beads I have like that, I can dress them up with the little flower and then add an ear wire. And so this is some really pretty lapis. You know, um, lapis is blue and this is kind of uh, I wouldn't go so far as to say dark blue. I know it looks like it dark blue here. It's like a dark shade of, uh, I guess, um, mm, I guess you can say dark blue. These are pretty dark. So I love those. I love lapis lazuli. That's a pretty, um, that's a pretty gemstone. This is one I use. I love this one too. I like, uh, those neutral tones, just, I love them. Picasso Jasper is what that's called. It's got, let's see, like that olive green, um, burnt orange color. There's tan there, like a very light uh, cream color to maybe a little bit darker brown. I really like those. I've always loved that uh, Picasso Jasper. Ever since I, you know, kind of got started with jewelry making. This is another Jasper bead. This one is uh, different than that one. These are like matte beads and they, they come in different sizes. I guess like a small, medium, large, probably is, is made to, to build a necklace out of that, but I'm gonna probably try to concentrate on earrings. So that's, uh, that's what I got today. Everything was half off, like I said. Um, not thrilled still about the, the end price. Probably spent too much, but I'm going to get some of it back because, you know, it's a business expense. So that's always helpful. And so what are your projects? Is anybody there that is uh, working on a project or anything? I've got about eight earrings to make when I get off here. Of course, I couldn't mail anything today, so I sort of procrastinated and said, well, I can make it tonight since I can't mail it today, so I'm gonna make sure I get everything all, uh, gotta print my labels, have my little label maker. It's called a thermal, thermal label printer. I should have brought it over to give you a little look, but it's about this size, and um, when I began selling last fall, I, had that, uh, I would go to the post office and going to the post office after you've worked all day it really gets old. So <laughs> after I kind of started getting a few consistent sales, I said, yeah, I'm going to need to get that little label printer at home. And so I, I buy my labels through Etsy. I had to, um, really, I learned so much online. I had to learn on, on YouTube kind of how to do, um, the labels and, you know, everything like that. And um, it's been a journey, but it's been so fun to see what, what possibilities are out there, to see what you can do. So um, that's what I'm gonna be doing later on tonight, as soon as I get off here, actually. And another one good thing about some of the earrings that I made, um, they're already made. I've already had them made. Um, sometimes I'll have things pre-made and then I can just package them up and, um, you know, and ship them off. But some of the things that I'll have to go ahead and make and then add glue with, you know, add uh, Mod Podge glue a little bit to the beads so they stay on the wire and 
I think most of my things today are pretty on the easy side to make. So I need to start timing myself too. Um, if I ever win, when I get going and have lots of sales in one day, I need to know, I think, how many pair, you know, I can make with in um, one day. One day, to, um, like, would I be able to handle large numbers in one day? R right now, it's only me making everything. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure I can do 10 a day. But could I make 20 earrings a day or, you know, um, wanting to go full time one day uh, means I would have to sell many in one day. Hello, see someone else join. Thank you for joining me. I'm just chit-chatting. I did a little bead haul. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby and found some things that were half off today. So I was just chit-chatting about that. Um, let's see. But yes, that's one of the things that I'm really going to concentrate on. I, um, I have come up even with a um, like a schedule, full-time schedule. Hello. How are you? I saw you the other night. You um, I, I, Was it two nights ago? I saw your channel the other night too. Thank you so much for joining. I'm uh, just doing a little Etsy chit chat. I did a little uh, bead haul earlier, a few of the things that I got. Um, and then I was just talking about Etsy. I think I'm gonna try to do um, well, I don't know. I just, I have been, I guess I dream and write down things and do projections. And, and so I figured if I ever wanted to go full time one day, I would need to sell between 30 and 50 things every day, you know, on a consistent basis, you know, and that's one thing to say it, but then I had to think, what does that look like? You know, what does that, all that work look like? Um, logistically, do I, um, you know, do I have doubles and, you know, triples of everything? And, you know, like, I don't know. I, what I did was made a schedule. I sat down and made a, like a full-time schedule of what I would have to do. Uh, so uh, I get up early in the morning. So I'm like, what I wrote down was, um, and I love to write things down. I'm somebody that has to write things down sometimes. I guess to visualize them, it helps me to write it down. So I literally wrote down my a daily schedule for my full-time business. I said from about five to seven or 7.30 or so, I, I will get up and exercise, like uh, have a treadmill, maybe do some exercising, try to, you know, pr um, pray first, exercise, stay healthy, um, have a little breakfast, and then my coffee. Ooh, gotta have that coffee and breakfast. Um, and then after that, maybe from 7.30 to about noon, go, you know, get going on on my earrings. And I said, that's going to be about 15 earrings I need to make. And then 12 to 1, like have a lunch time, my lunch hour. And then I said um, from, what did I say, from 1 to 4, I think, make my other 15 pair. And that'll be 30 pair of earrings if I'm able to do that. And then from 4... I wrote down four to five shipping and um, packaging. Now, that's the, I think I've underestimated that. If I'm making that many earrings, it's going to take a while to ship that and package. So, I wonder if it's going to take three hours to make earrings. I'm, I'm going to have to adjust somewhere, I'm thinking, and add more time on the shipping and packaging. Um, so... That's, that's, uh, Thursday is my first real day where I have all, you know, my full time, uh, my summer's like to, to myself. And so Thursday, I'm going to hit the, I'm really going to hit the ground run and try to see how that little schedule works. Um, try to work the kinks out of my, my full time summer job. That's what, what I'm calling this. This is going to be my, my full time summer job. So we'll see. Uh, what are some projects that everybody's working on? Anybody working on any projects they'd like to share about? Oh, and another thing this summer, I got to get my YouTube channel going again. Um, sometimes life gets kind of hectic and it's hard to, to get the videos out and um, everything changes. So now I see that you can post, you can, you can do shorts and uh, I got to keep up with all the technology and uh, make sure I'm 
on growing my channel. So I want to do that too. Um, I'm so close to having a thousand subscribers. It's taken me a minute to do this, but I really hope that, that it happens this year. I'm thankful for every, you know, every subscriber and all the support. People are so nice to me with their comments and everything. Um, so that's what I have tonight. Did, um, did you get to see the beads? I can hold them up again if you if you didn't get to see them. What I got, let's see. Those are just some of the things I got at a Hobby Lobby. They're gonna make earrings, just some glass seed beads. And then these are these seed beads. Hello, how are you? Just doing a little, oh, uh, thank you. Thank you, little um, bead haul. <laughs> so last time I was not gonna buy any more, but this is a business expense, so I got I got to cheat and buy some more. <laughs> uh, these are Picasso seed beads. I found some lapis. I love blue, so I love that lapis. And I'm gonna make some earrings that kind of look like this. I think I'm gonna try some different colors like, uh, let's see, Dalmatian Jasper. Uh, this one is Unikite. I guess the, it's got that green olive color and then some peachy tones too. Um, and I put a silver bead on top. And so I know some people love the big, big earrings and then some like the little dainty ones too. So I, I, I guess I, I make both the larger hoops and then I can make small things too. And let's see, don't remember if I showed that one or not. I got the Picasso Jasper. That's always been one of my favorite things to use. I got some hoops. Uh, this are this is um, you know the material for this is brass, but it's like I guess silver plated brass because it's got the silver tone. It doesn't have the that goldish tone. Uh, stainless steel. This is 30 millimeters and this is uh, 25 millimeters. So I do different sizes. And then I found my ear wires that I always get. And jump rings. These are the really small jump rings I found. And then the last thing, I, well, I have one more thing. I got, uh, one of my customers requested clip-on earrings and I've never made those before. So I got two different kind of clip-ons to see, you know, which one will look better. And I found a picture because I want to try to spruce up my background. I got that pretty picture. The yellow flowers remind me of my mom. She loved yellow. So I like the little truck and the flowers. These are 50% uh, off. Everything I just showed you was half off. They have a really good sale at Hobby Lobby on, uh, oh, bins too. If anybody needs the, like, Colorful bins that that you can do organization with. They're about this big and pretty deep, and they have them half off. So I have bins, and I never figure out what to do with them. So I'm really trying to use the bins I've got instead of going out and buying more. Plus, they have them at Dollar Tree. You know, the ones at Hobby Lobby are real pretty, but they're a little more expensive. And if you can do the same things with those dollar dollar ones at Dollar Tree, that's even better, you know, more savings. So that's what I have today. Um, has anybody been to Hobby Lobby or anywhere lately? What have you guys found at, at the store this weekend? All right, I look good. I hope you find some good things. That, that I love that 50% off. You can't beat it. <laughs> And I remember when Michaels used to do 70% off. And I don't know if they still do that. I've seen, I think I've seen 60% off. Hello, how are you? I think somebody just joined. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thanks for joining. I just kind of, we're talking about different uh, beads and things we find at, at the stores. Like, um, let's see. Yeah, I think Hobby Lobby used to do 70% off. Not not Hobby Lobby Michaels. I have not seen price that that low low price, and I know sometimes in the summer, 
I don't, I guess it's maybe three times a year if they'll have those good prices. Um, so I always know when the Michaels sale comes up because that's sometimes when Bath and Body has that semi-annual sale. So I want to get all the bargains going. Um, I bet Michaels will be having 60% off sale soon if they don't right now. I didn't make it over there today. Um, and the, the other good sale that I saw was at Joann's. I believe that was in November. I want to say that one was before Christmas. They had an excellent sale off on, on the, I mean, sale on their, let's see, those, um, the beads that are kind of packaged like that, you know, on a strand, the gemstones that are normally $9.99. They had three for $9.99. And then they had little packages of seed beads, buy one, get two free. And so I know they don't do that kind of sale often, but when they do, it's really, uh, really time, especially if you're a crafter, a good time for you to save some money. So I truly don't need any anything else. I don't know I, I how many hauls I'll be doing this summer. We'll see. Um, but has anyone else been looking and... Um, at the craft stores this weekend, what did what'd you get to do? Did everybody have a good good Monday? I hope you did. Um, I have a new setup behind me. I have some bins back here. I've been trying to kind of spruce up and also organize so things are easy for me to find when I have to get orders together. I've got, um, I've mentioned the, these bins before, but I never showed them. So I've got three of the bins and they've got the beads that have different supplies in them that I use for my for the business. And so those bins are, are helpful in, uh, in my business. Um, might need some more of those. Like, you know, every pay they get one or two or something like that just to make sure I can stay organized. But that's what I have behind me. Hopefully that looks a little bit better than it than it did in the past. Trying to trying to make some improvements and uh, and get things going. So I think I'm gonna end it, end it here. I appreciate everybody that's there and watching, and everybody that's gonna maybe watch in the future. Thanks for all the support and love, and thanks for being my jewels. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. Till next time, bye bye.